Welcome to the IC3D training video exporting from IC3D and Render Manager. Please view the IC3D training video Render Manager configuration before proceeding with this tutorial. We will demonstrate how to export your high res image renders from IC3D and how to manage them using IC3D Render Manager. Once you have finished building your model in IC3D and added your material, print finishing, and lighting effects, it's time to produce a final ray-traced, high-res rendered image. First, you might want to open your Rays Renderer preview window to get one last final look, verifying you're happy with your finished model before exporting it. When ready to export, go to the IC3D main menu. Select File and High-Res Image Export. The High-Res Image Export window will open. You can select the dimensional value for specifying a size you want your image to be, for both width and height. You can choose from millimeters, inches, or pixels. We are using pixels in this example. You can also constrain proportions by checking the box. In the Renderer drop-down menu, you have the option to select Standard, which will export an unraytraced JPEG or PNG file. Or select Ray's Renderer option to export a ray-traced high-res image of your finished model. From the Number of Samples drop-down menu, select the number of samples at which you wish your render to export. This is the same effect as the Render Preview window, ranging from 32 to 1,024 samples. The fewer samples you have, the lower the quality of the render, but your image render time will be reduced. The higher the number selected, the longer your image render time will be, but your image quality will be better. We will be using 256 samples, which will take approximately 30 minutes to render depending on your processing power. When you're happy with your settings, click the Export button. The Save Export Image window will open. In the Save As field, give your image an appropriate file name and make sure your Input Hot folder is selected to place the file for processing. At the bottom of the window, you can select whether to export your image as a JPEG or PNG file. Once happy with your selections, click the Save button to continue. A warning window will appear confirming that you have sent a file to the IC3D Ray Tracer and the file will be managed by the IC3D Render Manager for processing. It also reminds you to launch the IC3D Render Manager to proceed. You have the option to cancel by clicking No or just click the Yes button to proceed. A second warning box will appear to confirm that your file has been sent to the Render Manager for processing. It also reminds you to launch the Render Manager if your file has not started processing. Click OK to continue. You can repeat the process and send as many jobs for rendering as you like. Reopen the IC3D Render Manager. You will notice that there are two jobs that have a status of waiting to be processed. Older completed jobs highlighted in green can be deleted from the Render Manager list by selecting them and then clicking on the trash can icon. You can prioritize jobs in the queue by selecting them and moving them up or down. You can also place a job on hold by selecting it and clicking the hold button. Click the Reset Job to Waiting button to start it processing again in the Render Manager queue. You can check the Delete Automatically box to delete jobs automatically from the Render Manager queue once they have completed processing. Click the Auto Start checkbox to turn automatic render processing on or off on launching the Render Manager. When Auto Start is off, click the Pause button to stop the Render Manager queue. Click Start to restart the queue. This concludes the IC3D tutorial video Render Manager Exporting High-Res Images from IC3D and Managing IC3D Render Manager.